Hey everyone, it's Leviathan here again. This here is my intro video to explain to you guys what I normally talk about for my videos that I make from this point on to help you guys out. My Leviathan universe is very prodigious. I have 15,000 plus characters and creatures that are accounted for as compared to the infinite number in this infinite onion of a multiverse. The five main heroes are notably the five most focused characters in my Leviathan universe. There's Madame Shear, founder and owner of Blader Tech Industries. There's Dentrini, who's the biological granddaughter of Satana, founder and ruler of Tartarus. And she herself is also um, the director of the Paranormal Defense. Pym is a Lunarian, which is an alien species that's currently endangered after their home star exploded. Um, Colossa is the, uh, the granddaughter of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmos. Colossa herself has infinite growing capacity, can shoot nuclear beams from her hands, can break the fourth wall and other powers. And Kyjericus is Queen of the Mutants who's basically a woman who was mutated into a giant reptilian kaiju woman, who now protects people from kaiju-based threats. I have all of this elaborate information I could, could tell you and such, because they are all really impressive, and I really recommend that you gotta check these stuff out, because it, it will blow you away, and you know who Stanley is? Stan Lee, the guy who created Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Avengers, and all that stuff. I am planning to be as blessed as he was. And I really hope that this is the right reality. And if you guys want, I really hope that I could be able to succeed with my creations. Yeah, so basically it's really impressive stuff, and I made all of them, and I have to make it up to them. You know, because I made them exist, and I have to make it worth it for them. And if you guys want, you can like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys have a decent understanding. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. I'm going to start things off. I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. Today, for short notice, I am going to introduce three different characters. And I hope that I could have better progress and improvement than last week's Wednesday video. And by the way, happy uh, month of May. You know, here's the first character. Video Girl. Real name, Viola Nethers. Height, 6 feet 2 inches. Weight, 233 pounds. Status, anti-hero in Master of Video Games. Base, New York City, Mobile. Intelligence, 3.5 brains. Behavior. Flirtatious, cunning, and willful. She loves video games. Lethality. Only during a fight. Weaknesses, pride, and underestimation. Powers. She can transport others to the video zone where she fights opponents with her own personal avatar. She could also fight with her roster of video fighters native to the video zone. And just so you know, if her avatar gets injured or killed, then she herself ends up with the same injuries, even if it's deadly. You know? It's a fun fact. Um, eyes greenish blue, hair deep gold and flowing. You know? Origin. Viola Netherman was an average woman who loves video games. One day, Goddess appeared to Viola and infused her with the power to transport other people into the video zone. Renaming herself as Video Girl, she eventually made the unwitting mistake of transporting Pym and her allies into her game to fight against, and she just about lost her life if 
Pym didn't spare her. Since then, Video Girl would always think twice whenever she starts fighting her opponents, for there's always a chance that she would get demolished in the process. Costume, she dresses in casual wear, team, solitary, or with others, original inspiration, video games. Here's the next character, just so you know. Gulliver 2. Real name, Lynette Gulliver the second. Height, 5 feet 10 inches, weight 140 pounds, status hero and daughter of Gulliver. Base, Lilliput Mobile. Intelligence, 3 brains. Behavior, cunning and willful, she will always protect Lilliput. Lethality, only during a fight. Weaknesses, she has the same weaknesses as her mother. Powers, she has the same powers as her mother. So if you want to know her powers and weaknesses specifically, I recommend you check out the Gulliver video that involves Gulliver. You know, you could find it and such. You, you'll you eventually find it, you know. Eyes deep blue, hair tannish brown, and a double ponytail. Origin. One time, the Priantrum non who is the, um, the goddess of conception, appeared to Lynette Gulliver, stating that she will have a daughter of her own. When the child was born, Lynette decided to name her after herself. By adulthood, Lynette assigned her daughter to be the vice president of Lilliput. One day, Gog, who is the son of the villainous Goliath, who is the queen of the Brobnangians, Gog arrived to destroy Lilliput, and Gulliver too temporarily fell in love with him. But after learning of his destiny to honor his evil mother, Lynette forever stopped loving him. Since then, Gulliver too would nowadays spend some of her time with Alice, who is the descendant of the one and only Alice, and is the uh, sacred uh, savior of the land known as Wonderland. You know, costume. She wears similar clothes as her mother. Team Solitary with her mother and other heroes. Old inspiration, Lemuel Gulliver. He is the last character. Tall Trish. Real name, Trish Murray. Height, 6 feet 7 inches to 3,000 feet. Weight, 273 pounds to unrevealed. Status, anti-hero and descendant of Colossa. Base, futuristic dimension, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, flirtatious and willful. She'll always honor her ancestor. Lethality, extremely lethal to most opponents. Weaknesses, she has an occasional lack of awareness. She also hates being dwarfed by specific opponents. Powers, she has a strong healing factor, mass alteration, and can project beams of nuclear energy from her eyes. She also possesses a photographic memory and uncanny reasoning skills. Eyes, sky blue, hair golden, and chin length. Origin. In the futuristic dimension, Trish Murray was an average woman who learned that she's the descendant of Colossa. And by the next morning, Trish had inherited her powers. Nicknaming herself as Tall Trish, she soon found that the Ultramer, who's the ancestor of all Mervians and is a world eater, was making another attempt to eat the planet. And with some help from other heroes, they successfully defeated the Ultramer in a fight. Since then, Tall Trish was marked as a trusted hero, is nowadays spending some of her time with Colossa. Costume, she wears nothing official, just whatever she feels like wearing. Team Solitary with Colossa and other heroes. Source of Inspiration, Colossa and Descendants. I hope you guys enjoyed um, the, uh, the three characters. And I'm going back to the Video Girl character because I forgot to expound on specific characters in her description. So basically, Goddess is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmo. She's also the grandmother of Colossa. And, uh, of course, you would probably know about Pym due to how I edit this video and such. So I 
it should be comprehensible, you know? Yeah, um... I've been making uh, new stuff for the board game. Like, for example, here are the uh, villain cards, which are identified by a marking on the back. The hero cards have this X symbol on the back. So that way you could differentiate between the two. And it's still in progress. I just really hope that it wouldn't be a fool's errand when it comes to making the board game. Because I just hope it's not sloppy that I went from starting off with comic books to starting off with a board game. I just hope that I uh, don't get perceived as someone who has no, um, no, um, symmetry in their choices and such, because I just hope people don't see me as someone who has, like, no, um, self-control, for example, because I just want to make things work, you know? That's just simply put. So, yeah, um, if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything that is worth it for you guys to hear. Um, I, um, if you have, yeah, I just hope you guys are having a decent rest of the month of May, and a decent month of May in general, considering that this video is taking place in the 1st of May, you know? So I hope you guys have a decent time, and you know how it is, in transmission.